I am sitting in Studio Sartar, which is an alternative theatre space in West Delhi, in the Shadipur neighbourhood. With me are Sunil Shanbagh, Brijesh and Komita. We are sitting here because for the last 10-12 days, we have been working together to create a new play. The play is called Katha Kal Ratri Ki. This is a play by Jannatimanch, written by Komita and Brijesh, and directed by Sunil. So I'm going to engage them in a conversation about how this play has come about, how the collaboration between Janam and Sunil has come about, and so on. Sunil is a theatre director based in Mumbai. He has long experience of working in Mumbai in at least four languages. And um, some of you may have seen or heard of some of his most significant plays of the last few years, including Cotton 56, Polyester 84, Story in a Song, Sex, Morality and Censorship, Words Have Been Uttered, and Blank Page. He runs two theatre companies in Mumbai, Arpana and Studio Tamasha. Tamasha oh, right. The space is called Studio Tamasha. That's right. That's right. Tamasha Theatre. And he's with us. So let's just start with this, Sunil. How did this uh, sort of, uh, how did it happen that you are here? Well, actually, my first direct association with uh, Janam uh, took place when the Freedom Theatre from Palestine were here uh, visiting on a long kind of tour, study tour. Uh, of course, I've known you in the past, I've seen Janam's work, but actually coming to the space and working directly with Janam actually happened at that time. I think I spent about four days working with the young Palestinian actors and that was a very, very... Uh, I would say very stimulating experience for me. Um, I also, you know, then got the feel of Studio Sabdar and the kind of space it is. And there is a kind of a kindred spirit because, you know, in the sense that I think small art spaces, you know, which are curated spaces or accessible to both audiences and uh, theatre makers are, are vital. And you see that all across the country such spaces have opened. And I really felt that that connection was very, very uh, important. So when this suggestion came up that I would actually direct a play for Janam, uh, I was excited because, you know, I, the form is challenging. Uh, actually working with a completely new set of actors who I have no experience of working with before, that was very challenging. And also very exciting to work with two writers who are steeped in the tradition of Janam, uh, but also will be available in the rehearsal room. That's a luxury for us in the theatre scene. So I think it was a combination of this is Janam's 50th year. We were formed in 1973. And in March 1973, we, we complete 50 years. Um, so, Brijesh, how, how does this production fit into the larger scheme of our 50th year? You see, when we decided to do 50 years of Janam, celebrate, so we decided to have many things. But one of them was that this has to be some kind of continuation of our work and also a new beginning in a way. So we decided that we will get eminent directors and they'll come and direct us in this space in street theater, sometimes in uh, children's play, uh, Shelly Satyu is going to come and do a children's play with us and also digital uh, performance, which Mallika will be doing. So Sunil was part of this that uh, we thought of him as that he'll come here and direct us and that will uh, add to our strengths in the sense that we will get a kind of a training on the job from such an eminent person as Sunil. And uh, this will help us in our future work. That whatever we take from here will help us in, in our future work in street theatre as well as in proscenium. So that was the idea basically. So it, that's how it uh, actually um, has a link with uh, 50 year celebration. And why Sunil? Because Sunil, Sunil's work, actually, if you look, look at it, it is, I will say that it's, it's kind of a street theater in proscenium. <laughs> because, you see, when I, when I saw Cotton 56, and um, I was really, that, that's the kind of play which Janam should have been doing. Uh, I, I felt that this is the, the history of Bombay's trade union movement and how it was linked with the culture and the Shire tradition and how it was uh, said. I thought it was amazing and it was very good. 
and uh, Sunil, we were talking to him and he said that once they brought the play to Delhi and Delhi audience lapped it up. So, something which happens in Mumbai's history, why did the Delhi audience lap it up? So, he was telling me that uh, they were discussing that many people have that kind of experience. But more than that, you see, there has been a history of trade union movement in Delhi also. And uh, that is also helps in connecting with uh, Mumbai's trade union movement and the history of that. So, I thought that uh, that was one of the reasons, those were one of, one of the reasons in the, uh, many other reasons. Uh, you people have been associated with Sunil in art management and smart uh, courses, etc. Also, so that has also been there. There has been a link. He has been familiar when he came for Freedom Theatre. At that time, also we saw some of us saw how he was working with these people. So I think that was the reason that we thought of uh, uh, Sunil. And also, our earlier experience with Abhishek when he came here and worked with us on Tathagat. That Abhishek also, Abhishek Majumdar. So, that also I think uh, we thought, ki, no, this is the kind of uh, association which is going to help Janam in growing. And when Sunil got in touch with you and said uh, that you should write the play, what were your first thoughts on what you wanted to do with the, uh, with the story, with the structure and so on? Uh, frankly, at that time when Sunil said that he would like me to write the play, my first instinct was that uh, will I be able to write because it's my first time uh, to be working with Sunil and as Brijesh has been saying that unka ek kaam hai, unka big body of work hai jisko dekha hai, uske andar ek rajneet hai, uske andar ek tarah ka aesthetics hai. तो शुरू में मेरे जहन में कोई ऐसे स्ट्रक्चर नहीं था कि हम इस पे करेंगे लेकिन जब पहली बातचीत हुई तो ये बात काफी साफ थी कि सुनील भी ये चाहते थे और वो ऑलरेडी फेमिनिस्ट फेबल्स पढ़ रहे थे तो जेंडर के सवाल के ऊपर कुछ करने की बात थी लेकिन फिर जब धीरे-धीरे एक से ज्यादा बार ऑनलाइन उनसे बात हुई तो स्ट्रक्चर जो है वो ज्यादा क्लैरिटी से सामने आने लगा कि हम फेबल्स जो होते हैं जो जिन जातक कथाएं होती हैं या पंचतंत्र इस तरह की जो कथाएं होती हैं उनको लेकर हम कुछ करेंगे और चाहे उसका वन टू वन कनेक्शन ना हो आज के दौर में जो हो रहा है लेकिन एक लार्जर कमेंट्री जो हम अपने आसपास देख रहे हैं उसके ऊपर हम काम जो है वो करना चाहते थे तो सो आई मीन Initially, there was no particular structure in my mind, but as we started talking to each other, we uh, realized that there were certain ideas that both Sunil and I, and then I roped in Brijesh also, and you were also part of the whole process. So we had some commonalities, some ek tarha ki soch jisko hum natak ke zariye le jana chahte the. Uske andar ek ek common humko strings jo hai, wo saath mein kam karne ke dikhe. And now the play is almost ready. We are going to be performing um, in two or three days time, Sunil. Uh, what was your starting impulse in thinking about the play? And, uh, and could you tell the audience how the play, uh, uh, what's the story of the play in a nutshell? Yeah. You know, as, as Kominda put it, you know, I was, I've been, th I've been thinking for a while about what we could do. You know, there are certain, certain, um, I had to think of something within the parameters of street theatre, as I understood it. Uh, the half an hour, 20, 20 to 25 minute length. Uh, also, the circumstances in which performance will happen. Um, my, my last experience directing the street theatre is from the mid-70s. So, it's been a long time. But I can imagine that on the street what would happen, that kind of thing. Uh, so, I felt that, you know, as Komita was describing, can we, can we tell a familiar story and subvert it, all right? And I think that works always very well because, you know, there is a... In India, we are always hearing familiar stories, but the way they are told are always different. Every telling is different. So I thought, can we use that idea that tell a story that is familiar to all and then subvert it so that suddenly you, you, you are discomforted. I mean, the familiar suddenly becomes unfamiliar. That was the starting point. Uh, and that is what I really shared with them. And I think it's moved too well beyond that because now it's not just talking about that. 
it's also talking about the whole idea of rewriting history it's also it's also touching on the idea that you know history belongs to those who are in power but you know but that doesn't mean that you just accept it there are many invisible histories or histories that have been invisibilized uh, to the detriment of the larger good of people etc so these are the areas that the the the, uh, the play deals with um, using a lot of theatricality um, using using this character of a writer Karl Rath who is some kind of a kind of slightly mysterious figure but who writes in lok bhasha so it's you know the tension between a state language or the official language and the language of people it's about rewriting history it's about uh, voices that get invisibilized you know it's on these things that's really the broad uh, uh, canvas of this play and bridges the play uh, uses two languages in fact right uh, there is what might be called a standard hindi jo hum shehron mein aam taur pe bolte hain us tarah ki hindi और एक दूसरे तरह की भाषा जिसे आप हिंदी कह लीजिए चाहे भोजपुरी कह लीजिए चाहे जो कह लीजिए तो तो ये जो भाषा को लेकर के जो एक बात है नाटक में और उसका पॉलिटिक्स जो है वो क्या है सोर्स ऑफ द प्ले इफ आई कैन से दैट दैट मेंशन समथिंग जिसके चलते हमें लगा कि इसमें ये भाषा की बात आ सकती है और बहुत जोरों से आ सकती है क्योंकि जब कौमिता ने मुझे कहा कि ऐसे फेबल पे और कुछ कहानी पे फैमिली स्टोरी को सबवर्ट करने की बात है जैसा कि सुनील ने कहा तो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट केम टू माय माइंड वाज टू टू गो बैक टू कथा सरित सागर दैट्स अ टेक्स्ट बाय सोमदेव ट्रांसलेटेड समाइम इन थर्टीन सेंचुरी या सम that time because that is in sanskrit and somdev was from kashmir but jo original text hai, that is what we call as bhrit katha which is not it's not available it's kind of uh, not found so uh, the preface of katha sarit sagar mentions the story of uh, how bhrit katha came about and in this that there is a tension between some kind of a local language which is called peshachi and the sanskrit and the king satwahan king refuses to hear the story and refuses to publish the stories which are written in uh, peshachi and because of that the author goes and burns his stories and he is telling these stories to animals and all and that kind of thing so that tension that that seed of the, the clash between the not the clash but the language policy of the state was there so that's something which we were seeing today also so that it kind of a uniformity all over that we should have a standard kind of language which is there everywhere so that tension was there so that is how we thought of that and because the seeds were already in there in the story the seeds were also there of uh, how the why the author burns his book so that question was immediately he burning comes like perumal morgan saying perumal morgan as a writer is dead so that was also the seed was all, already there so that that that's how we came uh, came to this this play actually and uh, the language yes uh, the language is when we wrote for first time we wrote in the simple language then uh, sunil mentioned that okay the story within story since this is a story of that writer it should be in a uh, dialect so we changed it into dialect but also there was one section the the song the which was already in a certain kind of dialect because that was supposed to be the creation of people and of kalratri so that was in dialect so that is how we brought about this two different languages not really languages basically the speak spoken languages with a dialect which is quite local so that's how we try to create that that tension within the play how did the writing process actually happen kamita from the from the beginning the first conversation with sunil in which he shared some ideas with you you had some ideas and then you roped in brijesh so just walk us through how the play was written so after uh, having our first meeting with sunil uh, 
बेसिकली हमने पढ़ना शुरू किया और कथा जैसे मैंने पहले भी कहा कि जातक पंचतंत्र या थेरी गाथाएं जो बुद्धिस्ट नन्स की जो कहानियां होती हैं या कथा सारित सागर इंटरनेट पे भी बहुत सारी इस तरह की चीज़ें हमने पढ़ी जिनके अंदर छोटी 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 बहुत सारी कहानियां थी पहले आइडिया यही था कि हम एक कहानी लेंगे जो फमिलियर होगी और उसको सबवर्ट करेंगे जैसे सुनील कह रहे हैं लेकिन जब हम करने लगे तो जब हम पढ़ने लगे रिसर्च करने लगे तो हमें समझ में आया कि और थोड़ा सा एक ये एन्जाइटी थी कि शायद कोई ऐसी फमिलियर कहानी ना मिले जो हमारे ऑडियंस जिनके बीच में हम जाके करते हैं जो उनको पता हो आ, लेकिन क्योंकि इतना सब कुछ पढ़ लिया था तो फेबल के वी वॉन्टेड टू स्टिक टू द आइडिया ऑफ फेबल इट वॉज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आइडिया तो जो शुरू में हमने कहानियाँ पढ़ी बेसिकली कथा सरित सागर की ये पहले जो उसका प्रिफेस है उसको प्रिमाइस मान के आ, जो कथा सरित सागर के अलग अलग पात्र हैं उसके अंदर बहुत सारे सबवर्जन्स थे ऑलरेडी वो काफ़ी ट्रेडिशनल काफ़ी कन्वेंशनल पैट्रियार्कल रिग्रेसिव कहानियाँ भी हैं लेकिन उसमें कुछ ऐसे विरोध के स्वर थे जो कि बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग थे जिनको एलिमेंट्स को हम लेना चाहते थे तो फिर जब लिखने का प्रोसेस एक बार शुरू हुआ तो ये समझ में आने लगा कि शायद एक कहानी नहीं ले सकते हैं लेकिन अलग अलग कहानियाँ जो हमने पढ़ी हैं उनके एलिमेंट्स को लेके हम एक कहानी को गढ़ सकते हैं तो एक फिक्शनल अकाउंट हम गढ़ सकते हैं लेकिन जो पढ़ रहे थे उसके एलिमेंट्स उसमें रहे तो एक ड्राफ्ट हमने उसका पेश किया एक स्ट्रक्चर जो है वो बनाया और सुनील से बात हुई थी तो सुनील वांटेड कि उसके अंदर वर्स भाषा के लेवल पे वर्स उसके अंदर हो तो अच्छा होगा तो उसके ऊपर जो है काम करना शुरू किया फिर ये भी बात थी कि जो कत, जो कथा सरित सागर की कहानियां हैं उनका फॉर्मेट ही ये है कि वो कहानी के अंदर कहानी है इतने सारे उसके अंदर प्लॉट्स होते हैं तो ये भी बात हमारी मीटिंग्स में ये क्लियर हुआ कि हम कहानी के अंदर कहानी के फॉर्म को हम इस्तेमाल करेंगे जो जन नाट्य मंच ने पहले भी अपने कई नाटकों में किया है तो फिर जो उसके बीच का जो कहानी के अंदर कहानी थी वो कहानी ब्रिजेश ने लिखी जिस कविता की ब्रिजेश बात कर रहे हैं जो एक लोकल डायलेक्ट है वो ब्रिजेश ने लिखा उसके काफ़ी सारे हिस्से जो हैं वो ऑलरेडी मतलब मैं लिख रही थी और फिर उसके अंदर ये वाले इनपुट्स आ रहे थे तो उसका एक ड्राफ्ट हुआ फिर हमने दोबारा बात करी कि उसके स्ट्रक्चर के अंदर हम क्या कहना चाह रहे हैं वो कॉम्प्लिकेट कर रहा है जो स्क्रिप्ट उसको कॉम्प्लिकेट कर रही है उस इशू को या हम क्या मोटी मोटी दो या तीन बातें इसके ज़रिए कहना चाहते हैं तो वो एक प्रोसेस रहा जिसके अंदर लगातार बातचीत से और बेसिकली उसको कागज़ पे उतारते समय ही वो उसका स्ट्रक्चर जो है वो धीरे धीरे हमको दिखने लगा तो बाय द टाइम वी रीच्ड आर सेकेंड ड्राफ्ट आई मीन द ड्राफ्ट सेकेंड ड्राफ्ट दैट वी शेयर विथ सुनील उसके बीच में बहुत सारे ड्राफ्ट्स थे बाय दैट टाइम वी हैड प्रिटी मच वी व क्लियर दैट ओके दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट वी वॉन्ट टू वी वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द चैलेंज वज ऑल्सो विच आई थिंक इज ऑल्सो बिकॉज वी हैव सीन सुनील्स वर्क सो वी एज आई सेड इन द बिगिनिंग दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड द काइंड ऑफ एस्थेटिक्स ही यू नो बिल्ड ऑन स्टेज तो स्क्रिप्ट को हम विजुअली uh, हम उसके अंदर हम देखना चाहते थे और ब्रिजेश के साथ जब काम किया तो ये क्योंकि ब्रिजेश जो है वो टेक्स्ट uh, uh, के ऊपर uh, जो है वो ज़्यादा पकड़ है और मैं क्योंकि लिख भी चुकी हूँ पहले और डायरेक्ट भी कर चुकी हूँ छोटे नुक्कड़ नाटक तो एक विजुअल एक आइडिया जो है वो हमको uh, मैं उस तरह से सोच रही थी तो आई थिंक दैट कोलेबोरेशन इज़ ऑल्सो हैज़ वर्कड प्रिटी वेल इन दिस डिस्प्ले और फिर एक बार जब ड्राफ्ट शेयर हुआ तो सुनील ने बोला कि अब ये ड्राफ्ट उतना तैयार है कि हम इसके ऊपर फ्लोर में हम काम कर सकते हैं एंड सुनील वॉज वेरी क्लियर फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग दैट ही वुड लाइक टू वर्क विद द टेक्स्ट एंड नॉट जस्ट डिवाइस द प्ले सो दैट इज दैट वॉज वेरी क्लियर फ्राम वेरी क्लियर इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर अस तो दैट हैज़ बीन द लार्जर प्रोसेस एंड वेन सुनील केम ह्योर Uh, then also the text started to change and in fact for me uh, you know i could see many more things that i was thinking in a certain way while i was writing par jab actors ki awaaz mein usko suna choti choti nuances usme aur add kiye layers add kiye floor pe utarne se pehle just uh, in terms of reading to usse text ke andar aur mujhe lagta hai ki 
uh, it has flowered. I mean, I think it has become much stronger what it was in our second draft. Um, a lot of your work, Sunil, um, has been in one way or the other about language and about words and the importance of words as the carriers of meaning. Um, and so in that sense, this play, you know, very much is part of that much longer engagement with language and words and, and so on. Could you speak a little bit more about this? Yeah, well, you know, it's, you know, in, in, in today's time, there is this interesting, you know, categorization of theatre into, you know, physical theatre and text-based theatre. And uh, we firmly belong in, 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 according to those categories, Text-based theatre is also considered to be the older, slightly more conventional form. And, you know, I, I always smile because these, <laughs> these categorizations are really ridiculous in the sense that, you know, it, when somebody speaks, the body is also in motion and there's no question. You can't speak without the body and you can't make meaning without the body. So, I really believe that these categorizations don't really work. And I, I do wish that, that you know, the, the problem is that a lot of young people don't work with text anymore. Even in drama schools across the country, not enough importance is given to text. And most of our literature, most of our theatre has been text-based theatre. So even from a practical point of view, when you get out of school and you need to look around for work, it's your ability to deal with text that's going to be up there. You know? So uh, I come very firmly from a tradition of words. And I think that came about mainly because I, I learned my theatre under uh, Satyadev Dubey, who was a really again a man of words and ideas, right? So that was ingrained in me. For us, the word is very, very critical. Uh, I, I think I, I, words, languages, ideas. This is what we are interested in, uh, and in, and in a in a in a you know in a culture where where the oral tradition has been so strong, uh, both words and music work beautifully together. And when I say words, I mean verse, I mean prose. Okay, uh, music, you know, these things work very well with audiences here. Um, and yeah, that's, that's been my you know, favorite playing ground. I mean, that's really what I believe in. Yeah. As an actor, uh, Brijesh, this has been your first time um, of working with Sunil. What are the one or two things that stood out for you uh, as an actor? Well, as an actor, I found it... Uh, Actually, I'm no actor, <laughs> but uh, I've been doing street theater for a long, long time. And uh, that is the kind of uh, our voices are strong, have become strong now. When we came, they were not so strong. We can reach out with our voices and all. And uh, there has been always this tendency to cover the maximum audience when we, we are in acting area. Uh, though we have tried silences in, in street theatre earlier as well, it's not as if we have not worked with silences and with jo thairav ki jo baat hoti hai, wo humne kiya hai kai dapa. Lekin, it's a, as a tendency, it becomes that you try to go overboard and you just try to reach to the audience. Somehow or the other, you have to capture this audience. And uh, I think uh, when, I, when I was doing the kathakar, which which is the role that I have been given in this play. And uh, uh, my tendency was to just move around a lot, cover the things, go out to the audience by raising my voice, raising my pitch and, and the usual techniques that are there. Uh, but somewhere uh, uh, Sunil just told me this thing that you, you just have to stay. Stay with the audience, talk to them and just uh, get across your meaning by, you can be strong without actually uh, shouting. So that is something which, which has helped me a lot in the sense that in performing this, I, I, I can see the, the, the way I have changed from when I did uh, Kathakar on day one to when I am doing it now. That uh, I have brought down the speed of delivering my speech but I have not lost the strength of delivering my speech. That is something which uh, Sunil is not really, but slowly he has done that. 
and not the day one. He never told me anything on day one. Day one, I thought, oh, I've done well. But then <laughs> later he brought it in and he just kept on telling me. So that is his way of working. So that is there. And also the way I see with the other actors as well. Uh, it's a very democratic way of working. If I can, I, everyone speaks. I feel sometimes I think, oh gosh, these people are... इनको तो एक साल भी नहीं हुआ थिएटर करते हुए और ये सुनील को बोल रहे हैं कि नाटक में ऐसे कर लो ऐसे कर लो ऐसे कर लो सो आई एम रियली अमेज्ड बट दैट इज हाउ जन अमेज यू सी वी ऑल ऑफ अस डू दैट एंड देन सुनील लिसन्स टू देम समटाइम्स यू टेक देयर दिस थिंग एंड देन ही एक्नॉलेजेस आल्सो दिस इज आईडिया हैज बीन गिवन बाय कालिया यू सी दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट ही टोल्ड मी एंड दिस दैट सो दैट दैट इज देयर बट then also he really saw that ki at some point of time he will also draw a line you see ki now you do this so since you brought it in you better as well do it and show it and the more things you bring in the more sunil can actually polish and sharpen them that is the way i think for acting as far as and how has it been for you kamita as an actor <laughs> uh i have i am um uh, i don't want to i mean it's a very i think it'll it's a very frivolous word in many ways but i think i have been amazed by how perceptive sunil is uh, as a director and when i say perceptive uh, it means that you know when you know actors have this tendency to try to do something Uh, and they have their own instincts and some logic in their head and they are following probably the logic of the play narrative so on and so forth but how uh, how he you know uh, catches that thing that ki ki tum acha ye kar rahe ho he actually catches the exact intention of the actor that the person that actor is following when she or he is presenting something to wo hota hai director ka ki acha tum ye kar rahe ho to ye kyun kar rahe ho एक एक ये तरीका है बट सुनील आल्सो आस कि ये क्यों कर रहे हो लेकिन वो साथ में ये बता देते हैं कि मुझे मालूम है कि तुम ये कर रही हो इसलिए तुम क्योंकि तुम ये सोच रही हो एंड समटाइम्स आई एम लाइक यस एग्जैक्टली यू नो एंड माय इंस्टिंक्ट्स मे बी एंड देन इफ माय इंस्टिंक्ट्स आर नॉट राइट एंड आई एम नॉट डूइंग इट द वे ही हैज एनविसाज द रोल बिकॉज आई हैव ऑल्सो रिटर्न द प्ले सो इन माई हैड आई हैव ऑल्सो एनविसाज सर्टन कैरेक्टर्स इन अ सर्टन वे uh so that i think has helped me also to kind of uh you know to think and rethink about how am i doing it uh the other thing is to also um you know ha i have i have been struggling a lot and i see many of us i have been struggling with this you know to to say the worse Uh, और वर्स को कैसे हमको खेलना है वो मुझे लगता है कि वो सिर्फ वर्स को खेलने के लिए नहीं लेकिन वो जो टेक्निक्स बताई हैं सुनील ने काम करते हुए उससे और भी जो इवन जब हम प्रोज का नाटक भी एक कर रहे हैं तो उसके अंदर वो टेक्निक्स जो हैं वो कैसे कैसे वो काम में आती हैं तो सुनील ने जब लिखा लिखते समय ये बोला था कि वर्स में करेंगे एक्टर्स के लिए बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग होता है वो काम आई कूडेंट रियली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डज ई मी आई थॉट ई मीन्स दैट यू नो इट गिव्स लेस एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ बट एक्चुअली नाउ वाइल आई एम डूइंग इट एज एन एक्टर आई थिंक दैट सेइंग थिंग्स इन वर्स इज क्वाइट चैलेंजिंग एंड स्ट्रगलिंग सो वन इज स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग बट आई थिंक दोज आर द कपल ऑफ पॉइंट्स दैट दैट यू नो दे हैव बीन फॉर मी दे हैव बीन मैनी यूरेका मोमेंट्स फॉर अबाउट माई सेल्फ दैट ओ येस एग्जैक्टली दैट्स वॉट आई वॉज थिंकिंग हाउ डू यू नो दिस so and once an actor understands that then it becomes and acknowledges it that okay this was my instinct and the director knows it then there can be a negotiation about it if an actor is not able if the director is not able to convey that that why i think that your instinct is not going in the right direction and it has to take some other direction then sometimes and especially actors like us who are not trained in acting and we have learned whatever we have learned on the job i think these perceptions and these little little techniques that he tells us and i would not call them tricks because they are not tricks they are like techniques that one has to follow so i think that's going to stay with many of us for a very very long time 
So Neil, you've been working with a large number of actors over the years and so on. This is your first time of working directly with Janam. The last time you came, you know, we were working with mainly the actors of the Freedom Theatre. Um, what have been your um, experiences, observations? Well, first of all, I think the atmosphere in the rehearsal room is really wonderful in the sense that, you know, Vijesh mentioned the, the democratic. See, democrat, democratic doesn't just happen. I mean, I, you can be in a situation where you say, you know, all of you are allowed to give suggestions and actually nobody is forthcoming because there is no tradition of speaking, you know, your mind. And I think the fact that Janam in itself here has created a space where people are allow, allowed to express themselves uh, as part of your, your ongoing the way you all work. I think that's important. Uh, and that allows for this kind of thing. So having something to say and then being unafraid to say, there are both get involved, right? Uh, and sometimes I feel that even if you, it doesn't matter, you know, when, when you make a suggestion, however silly it may sound, it will actually turn out to be quite important. And I keep my ears open for that because honestly, you know, what is authorship? You know, at the end of the day, it, theater is a work with a group of people and, you know, at one level you have devising and where everybody is involved. At the other end, you know, of the spectrum, you have this director or your, you know, process, right? Uh, I think, I think there are advantages at both ends and somewhere, you know, I think we've got to take, uh, but more important for me, uh, so this is the fact that most of your actors have a lot of experience of working on the street, which I don't have, you know, and I'm absolutely unashamed to say that I don't know. So I'm very eager to understand. I think, you know, you mentioned Kalia's suggestion. I, mean, I felt so stupid afterwards. I was kicking myself and said, why didn't I think of this? He just said, Ki, Kunil, what I, mean, I had these guys lying on the floor playing these fire sticks. Okay? And he said, I mean, what I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, to start with the bang so that it actually brings. I said, absolutely not. Ridiculous. What was I thinking, right? So these nuggets have come. And I think the director would be foolish not to uh, listen to these things. Uh, at other levels, it has been a bit of a struggle because, you know, there are very different, major differences in approach. Uh, and that's bound to be that I was prepared for that. Uh, but I think, I think we both, both sides, the actors, and I, we've tried to find, you know, you know kind of negotiators, uh, set some kind of middle ground. See, the point is that in 15 days, one has to actually make a production and have it out there. Okay. Half an hour length is much shorter than what we wish to work with, but whatever it is, it is a length and it has to be ready. So I think the biggest challenge has been to balance the teaching and trying to get people to a certain level with the, the, the demand to actually have a production ready on day one, which is not under rehearsed. Okay, and that's a matter of great pride for me is that the opening show should never look under rehearsed, you know. Uh, so that's really been actually the, you know, the exercise for me. Has the length of the play also been a challenge for you? And it's delightful that it's over in half an hour. So, oh, wow, <laughs> we can do one more run through. Or we can go on and have a drink in half an hour. <laughs> I've, you know, remember that I've done plays which are two and a half hours long. They've never seemed to end. You know, when you're in act two and sometimes when you do double shows in a day, you lose sight of where you are in the play, you know. Has the interval already happened? So, in comparison, this is wonderful. Uh, no, no, no. The length, the brevity of the length is not a problem. In fact, I've I've had great fun playing with a certain pacing uh, that I hope that this length actually allows for. Yeah. Right. So, uh, well, thanks very much, uh, all three of you. This has been a very engaging conversation for me as well. Even though I've been involved with the whole process from the beginning and uh, let's see we are going to open the show in uh, in three days time and let's see how the audiences respond to it and i hope that we uh, do justice to oh, uh, excited and thank you very much and i, I hope I, I mean i hope you cross 100 shows wow that would be great <laughs> 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 thank you so much thank you thank you